Hello and welcome back to the Lit Cave. This is Brian and today I'm here to film my December 2014 book haul. Now I know that it's already 2015. I intended to actually shoot this and have this up yesterday but of course uh, I've been busy. It's the holidays and so I'm going to put this up today. I've got quite a few more videos still hoping to get up before I go back to work on Monday and today is Thursday so here's hoping I can get them all done. But I have a huge book haul that I need to do here for the month of December. And um, so let's let's get started. So this book haul is big because there were a lot of different sales and stuff that I took advantage of. And so let's talk about the first one. The very first sale that I took advantage of, which we've seen a lot of people put up uh, booktube videos for, is the, is the Book Outlet's Black Friday sale. So for the Book Outlet's Black Friday sale, I um, the deal was that everything was already on sale for 30% off, and then uh, it may have even been on sale for 50% off, I can't remember exactly, but if you um, liked the sale and you spread the word about the sale, Book Outlet gave you $10 in credit. So I did that, and with my $10 in credit, I was able to purchase three books, and it only cost me like $0.82 cents plus shipping, and these are the books that I bought. I purchased Ascender, which is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles. I'm um, very excited to read this. The Lunar Chronicles is a series that, from what I understand, is kind of a cross between dystopian fantasy and fairy tale retellings. Obviously, C Cinder is based off of Cinderella, but in this series, she's an android. And so uh, I've been really wanting to read this book. I've heard great things about the series, and so I picked up Cinder. The other two books that I picked up were the first and third books of the Fairyland series. The first book is called The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. And the third book is The Girl Who Soared Over Fairyland and Cut the Moon in Two. So I've heard really great things about both of these books, and I was eager to read them. And so I um, ordered both of those. So I got those three books for $0.82 cents plus shipping. I was very, very happy about that. So that was my... Um, that was my Black Friday sale. Now, I, I may have actually included those three in my November haul. I can't remember if I got them in time to do that, so I just went ahead and threw them on this video as well. The next sale that I took advantage of was actually a sale at, um, we have a Scholastic Warehouse uh, here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, it's in Arlington, and twice a year they have a huge sale, and you get to actually walk through the warehouse and pick out books that you want. And so when we went to that sale, we uh, bought a lot. And most of them were for my son Jeremiah, but let me share with you what those books are that we bought. So we bought him two books for Christmas. We bought him Listen to the Silent Night, which was a really interesting book. And I talked about this some in Christmas books. Um, this is a really interesting book because it specifically deals with the idea that the night that Jesus was born was not necessarily a silent night. There was a lot going on. But it also describes the birth of Jesus in a very beautiful way. And I uh, really enjoyed this book. Uh, I, of course, I read it to him already, and he liked it. Um, so good good choice there. The other book that we bought him for Christmas that I loved, loved, loved was The Spirit of Christmas by Nancy Tillman. And I talked also in the Christmas book video about how much I love Nancy Tillman. I cannot talk highly enough of her. If you're looking for a fantastic author for your children to read to your children, please pick up everything Nancy Tillman puts out from now until she's no longer publishing books. They're amazing. So that one. And then in addition to the two books that we bought that are actually Christmas books, we bought him two books that we gave him for Christmas. So one of these is called On the Farm by David Elliott, and this is a really beautifully illustrated book, and it just talks about all the different animals, and there's large poem sections in it about each animal and what they do, and it's very cute. It's got a good uh, rhythm to it. Anyway, so this is a good book, and uh, I highly recommend it. The other one that we gave him is How Do Dinosaurs Say I'm Mad, and this book's by Jane Yolen. And Mark Teague. Now, this book we actually were not going to pick out, but we needed to get one more book in order to get the best discount at the Scholastic Warehouse sale. And the lady at the register highly recommended this. And gosh, this book is so cute. And it's basically a book designed to help teach your kids not to throw tantrums, like how to deal with their frustration in a good way. And uh, so we've read this to Jeremiah a few times. He's in that uh, age right now where he's kind of starting to lose his temper more frequently and this has been a great tool to kind of talk about temper and stuff with him and it's very cute so really recommend that one as well 
Now, we also bought a few more books that Jeremiah is not getting yet. Um, one of those is this little 3D book, Planes in the Lead. Um, our Jer Jeremiah's second birthday is coming up not too long from now, and uh, it's going to be a Cars and Planes kind of theme party. And so we're saving this to give to him on his birthday. Uh, a couple more we're going to give him on his birthday are If You Were a Penguin uh, by Wendell and Florence Minor. Um, I haven't read this yet, but the illustrations are really cute, and he's been really loving seeing the trailer for The Penguins of Madagascar. So he's uh, penguins are something that interests him. He even loved him when he went to the zoo. So, and then another one is the Ten Little Caterpillars, and this is from the creators of Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, which Jeremiah loves, Bill Martin Jr., and Luis uh, Elert. Elert. Um, but really, really looking forward to reading this one with him as well. And then the last book that we bought for Jeremiah was uh, is one that we're going to wait till February to give him a little closer to Martin Luther King Day, and that is My Uncle Martin's Big Heart. Um, and it's about Martin Luther King Jr. through the eyes of his niece, Angela Ferris Watkins. And uh, really looking forward to reading this to him. Uh, uh, so those are the books that we bought for Jeremiah. Now, I did also buy myself two books at the Scholastic Warehouse sale. And you can see them kind of right here. They are the sequels to Cinder. They are Scarlet and Cress. And these three books are, again, part of the Lunar Chronicles, which is a kind of dystopian uh, fantasy fairy tale retelling, um, incorporating the characters from many fairy tales in sort of a more modern twist. Heard nothing but good things about the Lunar Chronicles, and so I'm excited to read these books. Okay, so that was, that was the... Uh, the first couple of sales that we uh, took up for December. Now, since then, we've also bought a few other books. And so let me tell you a little bit about some of those other books. Um, I also purchased uh, Throne of Glass uh, for myself uh, closer to Black Friday. Um, I really was eager to read this book. It's the first book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. And uh, oh my gosh, I totally love this. I've talked about this already in the best of 2014. This is by far my favorite series that I read this uh, this month, and uh, just so good. In fact, I loved it so much that I went out, uh, I checked out the second and third books from the library, and I loved both of them. And then I had to pick up the Assassin's Blade, which is the uh, the prequel novellas in a bind up form. Uh, because not, the library did not have this in stock, and I had to read it in here. Um, I had I just needed to read every page of what Sarah J. Maas had written uh, about the Throne of Glass series. So picked up both of those. I picked up a hard copy of uh, Blood Promise, which is, I believe, the fourth book in the uh, Vampire Academy series. I've read the series before, but I really, really liked it, and I'm eager to uh, pick up the rest of these books in hardcover, which is going to be a challenge because the first three books are a little hard to find. So, uh, picked this one up. I picked up a uh, another Hardy Boys book. I've been trying to collect all the Hardy Boys books slowly for my son Jeremiah. So I picked up another Hardy Boys book for him at Half Price Books, and that is number 60, The Mystery of the Samurai Sword. And I also picked up book two, of the Fairyland series, so that I'd have the whole set. Uh, the girl who fell beneath Fairyland and led the rebels there. I also picked up a few books out of the A Series of Unfortunate Events series. Um, there's 13 books in the series, and I have not read them all, but I want to pick up the series. So I picked up uh, book one, The Bad Beginning, book three, The Wide Window. And book four, The Miserable Mill. Haven't been able to find book two in my local half price books yet, but I've got my eye out for it. Um, I also picked up two more Gillian Flynn books. I sold some books, which is how I got those Lemony Snicket books. Ugh. Uh, I sold some books, which is how I got those Lemony Snicket books, and I picked up those, and I also picked up these two Gillian Flynn books. I picked up Sharp Objects. And I picked up Dark Places. I'm looking forward to reading them. I've heard nothing but good things. That they're great, kind of dark books, but I'm looking forward to reading them. 
uh, and also just diversifying my reading a little bit. I've read a lot of young adults, so a few more adult books will be fantastic. For Christmas, I picked up two books that my, my wife got me, my two favorite books of the year. She picked them both up for me. The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin and All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Now, that is all the new books that I have right now that I've purchased in December. That being said, I've got two big packages coming my way, um, and so I'll probably do those as a separate uh, video here as soon as I get them in, just because um, I don't plan on buying a whole lot of books during January. There will probably be a couple of books to talk about briefly at the end of the month, but most of these books I have coming in were either from one of two things. They were from Christmas money that I got from my mother-in-law and father-in-law, or they were from um, they were from the book outlet Boxing Day sale. Between those two things, I have 13 books coming in, and uh, I've read some of them already, but I'm very, very eager to pick them all up. And so I look forward to telling you about those very soon. Until then, see you same lit time, same lit channel.